Hello and welcome to Darren. Take a look at Antihero. This is a game that is set in the Victorian era, where we will be playing as a, uh, we'll be running a thieves guild. Basically, we're gonna have a master thief. We're gonna hire some thugs and maybe some saboteurs, maybe some urchins to get a, a few coins and try to take over the town. Basically, it's set as sort of a, uh, sort of like a tabletop game, really, where we will be uh, us versus someone else. We'll be playing against the computer for uh, for this game. But uh, we'll get in here and try it out. This game has been developed by Tim Conkling, is the name. Um, I, I think it was originally developed as a solo dev thing, but there are more developers that have been brought on. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, I tried looking more things up, but I think that's how it is. If you, if you know better, then please correct me in the comments. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and try this out. This came on Steam just uh, about two days ago. So, um, yeah. It's, uh, I'll put a link in the description. It's 15 USD. It's on sale at the moment. Uh, we've got a few things to choose from. We can play this game Hot Seat or versus the AI. We're going to go to the palace because uh, that seems all right. Uh, we can change all the rules around and do all kinds of different house rules kind of things, as what the Steam page calls it anyways. We're going to go with normal difficulty. That is fine. And uh, let's try this out. <clears throat> so we get to choose our, our, our master thief. I don't know that it really matters who we choose. I don't know that it actually adjusts anything in the game. It may as you get higher up, but as it is right now, they all basically do the same thing. As you play the game a little bit more, we can be uh, Tiny Tim or Sherlock if we wanted to. Uh, we're going to play as Thea, though, because she has a very cool eye thing. Okay, so on this mission, each map is a, has a little bit different scenario to it. I like this one because it kind of has a whole castle kind of look to it. We have uh, a goal. We have like a, a central palace in the center of town. Now, if we burgle that, we get two victory points. We have to do it once to win the game. There are these guard towers that are placed around the town. We have to send our thugs to take over those towers in order to, to take the palace. Um, I'll try to explain things as it's going on. There's a lot of little things, but it's really not too difficult. So, uh, here is me, uh, Thea. This is my master thief. This is my character that has uh, really her job is to scout. We haven't hired anyone else, it's just the Master Thief. These, uh, we have, what's it called, Something Whispers Guard Tower over here. And we have Sheer Something Guard Tower over here. There's four of them on the map, I'm not sure. I was playing around with this, this scenario before, and they never unlocked, so I'm not really sure how that works. But we have these two Guard Towers. So what we need to do is we need to hire some thugs, which we'll get to eventually. We're going to send them over here to the Guard Towers, occupy the Guard Towers, and then go to the Palace, break into that, and then we win. Now, we have our main hero right here in Thea. This is sort of like our, uh, our, our operation is right here in this blue flagged building. The red light finger is over here on this one. Uh, everything is all cloudy, which is like a fog of war tactic. We don't actually know what is going around. And the map, even though it is a same scenario, it is randomly done each time. Hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ghastly toot. Is where we're going to go. We're going to go check out this, gas, this, uh, this trading house That's first good. off. And we're going to go burgle it. And what we're also doing is we're also scouting it. Uh, which means that we can hire an urchin. Right here. What we're going to do is we have gold and we have lanterns as a currency. Lanterns are research. Gold is for purchasing uh, thugs and things. This will allow us, by purchasing this research, allows us to buy urchins now. So now urchins are unlocked for us. We also get a free one. So we're going to throw him into the trading house. Because what he does, he just sort of hangs out there and uh, gets me research points every turn. Having one there gets me uh, one research point every turn. Having two of them will give me two. And we use those research points to buy more things like gangs and daggers and, and uh, uh, unlocking thugs. Which we'll get to. I have two action points. I've used one to explore this. I have another one, which we can go and explore a street. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we go right now. We can go, like, right there. Just to sort of clean the street up a bit. And now we are done, so we're going to end our turn, and we're going to let old Lightfinger do what uh, he does best. And, uh, yeah, it's not, it doesn't take a long time to play the game. I think I, my first test game took lasted maybe 20, 30 minutes for the whole thing. We do assassination contract. The toes have been infiltrated. He's already going for the guard tower. Interesting. All right, so we have two coins and two uh, science. We could buy... Uh, this one, which will allow our Master Thief to get an additional action. We, have to, we can buy the gang as well. We're going to buy both of them. 
I'm going to buy that, which gives me three actions now. Which will unlock the ones below this as well. And we're going to get the... Oh, the gang costs two now because we bought that. Uh, well, well. Gangs are what we use to... Mm, they're kind of like this guy. I didn't really mention these purple guys are sort of like the police. And uh, they just sort of get in the way. We can't get past them unless we kill them. Mm -hmm. So I want to come over here. We have addition, additional action. Let's go ahead and scout out. I'll see what this thing is. Got a guard. Yeah, just a guard there. This tower doesn't do me any good. We can come check out old Nippleston. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, and this yes. is the bank. Okay, so the bank works sort of like the trading house. Where if we get an urchin... I want to click on this. Uh, we get one urchin in there. It gives us one coin per turn. If we get two of them, or three of them, it'll give us three gold. Uh, actually, four, I guess. I guess four gold per turn. Uh, now, I'm not done with her. I can actually go in and, and just burgle these buildings, which will give me coins. And uh, I'm fine with let's that, go. so let's go ahead and just do that. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, we do have the coins to hire another urchin, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, oh yeah. We're going to head set you into the trading house because we oh, want hi. tech. First off, that's going to be our first priority. We can get ahead in the tech race. We'll get some urchins in there. We're going to get some urchins into the bank. And we'll get some thugs out there to sort of protect our assets. And hopefully we can build up a bit of a, uh, a, a thieves guild. Uh, I don't want to have any cash. We can also choose if we don't want to pick one of these. We can choose if we want gold or lanterns instead, for just for free. Uh, this guy's only one now. I'm going to go ahead and buy him. Buying him gives me one free guy. So this guy is my thug. He has two hit points. He does one damage. What we can do is we can come over here. We can take out this cop. Oh. Using my beaten stick, take out a cop, and every time we take someone out, we get a upgrade. We can either take more gold per kill, uh, we do more damage, or we get plus one eviction, which means we can like kick urchins out of uh, kick their urchins out. I'm gonna go with the damage for right now, and let's go ahead and yeah, scout out over here. Um, actually, no, let's check over. Let's keep all these roads cleared out in this one. What's over here? Ah, yes. Who cares? These are some estates. And as we can level up, we can get better... Where is it? Is it here? Plus one gold for bigger burgled buildings. And there's one for estates. I don't know where it is. Oh, here we go. Uh, jewelry from estates for four gold if we get this one here. So, uh, yeah. We get some pretty cool stuff as we uh, as we get into that. We can hire another urchin. We're going to go ahead and do that. Because I want to throw him into this trading house. So we will get uh, more... Um, uh, those. More science each turn. Okay, uh, I think what I want to do is I want to make sure that my my thug, my, it's called thug, th he might be called something different, let me look. But him, he needs to get cooler. So, what do you call, you're a gang, right, you're a gang, and you will have two health, I can make you cooler though, if I put thugs into there. So if we do this, go to broom, it unlocks the thug. And now the thug is this guy here. He's the guy we want to put in these towers. Um, we don't need to do it yet because we have to have both towers occupied at the same time before we can take this palace. We're going to throw him in here into the gang, which will make our gang just a little bit cooler. Um, I'm going to scout and see what this is. Is this a cop? Yep. And this one? Oh, this is... Who are you? Ms. Marwood. A thoroughly unpleasant individual. individual assassinate for a victory point. It takes four hit points, but if we take her out... We get a victory point. I didn't really mention that, but we have victory points. We need we have four spots for victory points up here. This is how you win the game. And we have the two crowns that we get for taking the palace. So uh, that's basically the goal of the game is to gain victory points. Hmm. One more move. Let's go see what's going on over here. Another cop. Okay, um, I can't take her out. I can actually take out this cop, though. Just to make myself a little bit cooler. Of course. Why not? And uh, we'll upgrade to where we get more gold per kill, I think. Actually, let me try... Yeah, that's, that's probably what we want to do. More gold is always better. We still only have two gold. Um, yeah, we're done for our turn. We also have another one down here. First uh, first bribe gives us... It costs us six, but it'll give us a victory point. We get victory points from taking out people like this. Uh, taking um, these, I think, gives us... Sure, actually. Let me let me see. That gives us two. Uh, that's a palace. Uh, no, maybe it doesn't. So I guess we just have to take out these people, folks to get uh, victory points. 
We can unlock an ability to give Thea uh, a dagger so she can do an attack, which we'll probably do this next turn. The toad's leveled up. All right. Mm -hmm. um, let's do some scouting. Let's go That's check good. out this. Another policeman. Make sure there's none of none of them around. I don't want to... Mm. Let me see here. If I unlock the dagger, it'll allow me to attack. Or we get... Thugs make thugs stronger. We can also unlock the saboteur, which can put traps in the buildings. Plus one lantern per turn. I mean, that's just a freebie. We're going to art from estates for two lanterns. I'm going to take... This one's always a good one. Let's take that one. So that we can do some uh, damage. And if I can hit her... Why not? Put a damage into her. And then I'm going to go ahead and let you go ahead and do a damage into her also. Two a damage into her. So she's quite a bit weaker now. And we are done for our turn. We don't know what she's doing. What is... Uh, or he. Lightfinger. What is he doing over there? Looks like he's doing some... He owns the toads, which is basically what we're doing. Looks like he's got that one as well. We can go check it out, I suppose. And she's over here now. Let's go find her. So that my guy can go check her to go take her out. And let's go see what's going on. Of course. I have one more action. I can hit somebody or I can just scout. Let's go scout oh, that. Who's that? Oh, that's that's their gang. Um I wanna take their gang out first. It's kind of a battle in this game that you, you... As you can see, you don't want the gangs to get too powerful. I already have two damage and three hearts. He only has one damage and two hearts. I could take him out in one round. And I think I want to do that. Because if he hits this cop, he could get pretty strong. Let's go ahead and deal with the gang first. I also don't want him taking out that victory point. And I'm going to take more gold. I'm here. Okay. Uh, that is done. We have four gold. We could buy a thug or another urchin to throw into the bank. Let's buy an urchin. Hello. Hello. Go into. Oh, I haven't scouted that yet. I didn't scout the bank yet. Um. All right. Well, just hang on then. Um. I am going to just get some gold this turn. We need some cash. So we can buy some folks. We could buy a thug right now. I think I might. I don't want to lose my, my gang. So, thug, go hang out into this gang and get him four hit points, please. There we go. Okay, so not so worried about him taking it, getting taken out. Because uh, old Lightfinger could just throw out a couple thugs, take out my, my gang, and that would be unpleasant. Yeah, like that. So we're down to two hit points. Oh, that hurts. Okay, we're down to one hit point. That was painful. More painful than it should have been. Okay, I want you... Okay, first Jeff, you're going to explore this. There we go. Nippleston scouted. Um, that is, I'm assuming, a guard. You can't kill him. He can kill him in one turn. You could kill her in one turn, though. Yeah, go for it. Get her out of here before he gets the victory points. And bam, victory point. Okay. I should probably spend some of my science. I can attack once per for two damage. Plus one gold for burgled buildings. That could be nice to have. Plus one lantern per turn is always nice to have. Extra thug health. I'm going to go with this one just for the free lantern. And now we can get... Master Thief gets an additional action. Yeah, I want that. Okay, so now I can go all over the place. I'm going to see what's going on over here. And I want to see what's going... What are you? Let's go. Okay, just him. Okay, take out that guy. Let's go. Very nice. We get some coins. When we with those coins, we're going to go ahead and put it in the gold per kill. Uh, we are going to buy a thug. He's going to go into here to beef him up just a little bit. Hopefully I don't lose him this turn. Go do that. I might lose him this turn. I might have made a mistake because they can hit me. Yeah. I probably should have just bought. I probably, instead of giving her that ability, maybe I should have just bought the gold because I'm going to lose him. That's going to be unfortunate. 
It's gonna set me back. Losing my gang. We get two more urchins into that bank, that'll give us a lot of gold. That's gonna be what we want after we rebuild our, our gang here. Yep, there he goes. Ugh, boomer. Okay, so they have a gang out there. We gotta find him. I want... Hmm. I want to go... I'm gonna just do this and buy some gold. Buy some gold. I'm gonna get some gold. Gives us eight coins. We're gonna buy a gang. We're gonna get a, uh, a thug to assist him. Okay. Well, you can kind of see him pop in there behind the, the gang. Mm -hmm. I want you to... Oh, there's uh, Ms. Peck and Sniff is uh, another victory point right there. We have to find that gang. What's going on over here? There he is. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, you only do one damage, but you do one damage as well. So you can hit him. And then you can come see her. You can come finish him off. Sure. And by finishing him off, we will get a, uh, a level up. And we're going to put it into damage. Two damage, we can take out one of those uh, those gangs in one hit. We have enough to buy an urchin. We're going to go ahead and right. do that. Get into that bank, I'm sir. Right. One more urchin will give us lots and lots of gold. We'll get one coin from that. Next turn, we can get... Lots of gold if we can get that taken out. Uh, that that occupied by urchins. Now they could take their gang. We could also use our gang. Like if we see urchins sitting in here, which they probably are, we can get our our gang in there to go clean them up. He's in just he's just burgling some things, getting some cash. Uh, they got a thug there and a gang that has been infiltrated. He's got three hit points now. Okay, we don't really have the cash. Say more. He's got five hit points. Um, let me go ahead and do this one. Give us some free gold. I'm going to... we got to find... This guy here. Like, it's blocked because she's in the way. Can I go back this way? I want you to, f I want you to figure out what that is. Is that, is that him? It's got to be. There he is. Um, yeah, hit him. Now you go Let's hit go. him. Okay. Excellent. I want the extra gold. Hopefully we can survive another round. I'm going to buy an urchin. I could buy a thug and throw him in there, but I think the urchin... Oh, can I buy both? Never mind, I'm going to buy both. Get in there, and I want to get a thug. I want you to go join okay. him. Okay. So we gotta take that one and that one. That one still has a, a guard on it, which we can take care of next turn, I think. Take care of him next turn, and can we get two thugs out there in one turn? I don't know that we can do that. And here comes some gold, though, thanks to our bank. He's just burgling the thing. I probably could have been doing that with uh, with my master thief. I haven't really been doing a lot of that. Might have been a good idea, though. We have tons of, of research. We can put in this one. We get extra gold for taking out buildings. There's also there is a few more folks. The truant officer evicts all urchins from a business. And we have a an assassin. Six damage attack, one time use. So if, if you have like a gang that's getting out of control, you can you can take them out with that. Plus one thug health. I'm not too concerned about. I'm not really concerned about the saboteur either. I'm gonna go with. Um, no art from estates for two lanterns. I want this one. Joy from estates for four gold. I can afford both those. This one. Let's go find some estates and get some cash. So here's my assassin. Traps a building and reveals a, or reveals a district. I want to trap... I don't know that I want to use them just yet. I guess I should, though. 
if I trap... So what you do is you, you plant a bomb, basically. So if they're... If somebody goes inside there, like their Master Thief, it basically just ruins their turn. Um, if I go here, it's not going to hurt. Yeah, it's... Mm, go here. I'm afraid they're going to come take that. So go sit in there. So if they try walking in there, it'll blow up and it'll ruin their... Kill their guy. Now, if we go to Estates, we get more cash. Which is going to be right in here. And I think we're going to do that. Of course. I'll take that. There we go. And that one. That's, I guess, the estate. There we go. Which should give us... Is there a guy in there? Ah, yes. Okay, now hit, hit him. I should have attacked him and then taken the main estate. Eh, uh, well. Uh, you can still level up. I need to take her out. Let's kill... These guys are actually doing okay for me because they're, they're causing them to be, to be blocked off. This guy might be uh, annoying, though. We could actually hit her. Yeah, whatever. They can't do five damage in one round. Or three damage. Maybe. We'll weaken her up. And... I think next turn we hit him and put two thugs out. Do we want to go ahead and buy the thugs? Yeah, can we win this? Can we win this? We can't win it in one round, but we can we can get very close to winning it in one round. We can get the palace in the one round. Um, yeah, we're going to let them sit there. Hopefully they don't get attacked. If they do, we're kind of hosed. Do I have to use them? Do I have to use them? Um, oh, I thought I could just set them out there. Ugh, that's a problem. Just go sit. Oh, I, I wasted that. Well, go in here then. Okay. I wasted that. I didn't realize I, I thought I had I thought I could just leave him out. Uh, you are full now. So I want you to just come over here and just just hang out here. Okay. I guess I could put you in there. No oh, well. It'll be alright, we're getting a lot of cash next turn. We'll go get that estate. We'll be alright. We can buy the guards then. Alright, Lightfinger, what do you got? Okay, we need to take her out next turn. Before he does. They're doing a lot more infiltrating than I am. And they don't seem to have that much cash or uh, science, though. Oh, my thug. Not cool, man. Ah, excellent. He tried to send his guard into, or this thug into there, but I had my trap set, so it didn't work. Okay, Thea. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here. Now, what do I need to do? I must be missing something. Marble jewelry from estates for four gold. I'm not sure what that means. Like, that's an estate. We burgled it, right? I don't, maybe we have to, like, burgle everything. I don't know. We have to get, like, everything, maybe? You, you can do everything twice. Maybe that's what that means. Um... I can't get my thugs in here because he's in the way. Huh? I want you. We gotta hit him. That's blocked. Hmm. If you take out this guy, we can get that guy. That guy's a problem too, though. I can buy the thing that gives me two damage. Do that one. Buy me two damage. Uh, that way you can kill him. Oh, she's in the way now. She's in the way. Man, I don't know how to do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> okay, let's take him out. Very good. And I'm not concerned about that guy. I'm more concerned about the gang. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to take the mm, the damage. I can kill her in one swing. Next turn. Um, you, let's go ahead and see if this is what we need to do. I want cash. That's the stuff. One more, and then with this will be done, I think. 
Now, I have lots of cash, but I don't really have a place to use it. We haven't been doing really a lot of exploring. Okay, that's fine. We'll save our cash. That way we can buy our thugs and win the game in a, in a quick turn. They can probably do it too, though. They're they broke, so they maybe they can't. Oh, they almost got him. Oh, you took out my... Oh, an assassin. Oh, they spent the money on the assassin and, and took out my uh, my guy. That's not cool. They are very busy this turn. Very busy this turn. Calm down over there. Okay. Well, I would. I know I want to take her out before they get to her. Hmm. Of course. Let's get her real quick. Okay, there's another victory point. We need two more of those. Let's... I can't take him out. I can scout. Let's go. There's stuff. Okay, there's... They got three urchins in there. What do you have over here? Beautiful. An orphanage, which I think gives you... I'm not sure exactly what that does. Makes your orphans cheaper, maybe? I think is what it does. I think. Um, we have to get that one, too. Lots of cash. Bye, gang. And we're going to uh, thug it up. You get in there. And I want you to take out... Yeah. Take out this guy. I haven't scouted that yet. Take out... Sure, that guy. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the damage. Let's give this my uh, my first bribe. Gives me a victory point. There we go. One more plus the the main thing, and we win. Um, I'm gonna hold off on doing that. These cops are all over the place. Okay, we're good. Could have bought a thug, maybe, and, and, and strengthened him up a bit. I think he'll be okay, though. Maybe not. If they send another assassin, it won't be good. <laughs> there we go, here's our new guy. He's got six health. All these cops are everywhere. Oh, what is that guy? Oh, he's the, uh, the... Oh, that's bad! That's the, the... What's it called? The guy that kicks all the urchins out. Okay, he leveled up. We're gonna have to clear the way because they're standing in front of the palace here. I, we gotta we gotta make sure we, we scout this out so we can get into here. Um, I'm tempted to actually go ahead and hit him. Problem is, I can't get my thug back here because there's these guys in the way. Let me hit this real quick. Hmm. See if that works like I think it does. It does not. Get the art critic upgrade. Did I not? Art critic. We're called jewelry from estates for four gold. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, so this is an this okay yeah. This is an art piece. There's a jewelry one around here also that okay that makes sense. Um, I want you to. You could kill him. Uh, what am I doing? No, don't kill my own guy. I'm here. Um, let's go to. I got two points left. Kill him. Scout this. Let's go. Okay. You hit him. Oh, is it blocked? Oh, it is blocked. I thought I had it. I thought I had it, but I didn't. Um. Just hit that guy. 
Because it's also blocking him. Okay, and I'm going to give you the gold per kill. I'm going to... I have lots of cash. I'm going to give you... I need to buy some, some urchins, though. Get in there. Uh, and I'm going to get... I don't need too much more research, though. So I'm going to get a thug to beef up you. Okay. There we go. We're going to save our money for two thugs for next turn, because I think we can do this next turn, as long as these guys aren't in the way. What do you do? Trapping buildings. Mm, I think we're... Mm, I could put him in there. Let's do it. Oh, we... We? Oh, Keep them out of there. And there's some cash. Lightfinger. Let's see. We're at 31 minutes, Lightfinger. Pick up the pace. The last game I uh, had didn't last this long. <laughs> Are you done yet? Oh, they're going to take them out of my urchins again. Stop that. No worries. Ah. Hmm. All right. So, you're going to hit him. I'm going to pop out two... Can I get through here? No. We got to take him out. We can't do anything until we get this guy dealt with. So, deal with him. Okay, I want you to deal with him. Sure. Okay, we might even need to get a second gang. There's a, a thing. That's, where is it? Here, it costs six. We have to get safe cracker first. Um, okay. Uh, I want the gold. Uh, no, we got to kill that guy who's going to take six, so we'll go ahead and get damage. You go ahead and scout. Let's scout all this stuff. On it. The church is here. There's only one orphan there. And let's got that out so we get a nice clear spot here. We can get around these places. Urchin. Hello. Whoa. In here. All right, then. And another urchin. I'm going to go back into my trading house, give okay. me some research. I'm on it. Okay. Put another one in there if I need to, but not, no. I'm not going to save my cash. Now, what do we want to do? Do we want to get the lanterns? Or do we want to get the gold? Or do we just go for the safe cracker to get the second game? The assassin. Plus one health for thugs. Um, I only do that once. Oh, I can do it twice. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, next turn. Pretty much, I think we're doing with research. We can if we, once we hit six, we can get our second gang if we need it. We don't think we need it though. We'll see. It'd be nice to, to get rid of some of the urchins because they're making a lot of money and science with all these guys around here. They're kind of owning the town at the moment. They just got their bribe with the research. Here they go, taking him out. Okay. Three health now. Um, actually, that's not a bad thing. Okay, I think we got this. Because... We can do this. Because he can hit him for three and kill him. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. You, over here. Take him out. 
Okay. Good. I want... Um, go, I guess. Now we're going to buy two thugs. You're going to go in here. Okay. You are going to go into here. Okay. Okay. Now I'm. This is now unlocked, so I can get it. Mm -hmm. I want you to kill this guy. And hopefully this place isn't uh, isn't trapped. It shouldn't be because they couldn't get past the guards. Oh. There we go. We did it. Well, riches removed. Okay, we have it. Uh, all we need to do now is we need to either kill uh, this guy here or just get the research to get this final bribe. That's all we have left to do. Um, it's going to be easier just to kill that guy, so we're just going to focus on that. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that he is strong. We'll put another thug in there. Okay. Join that gang, please. I think, is that the max? I think it is. Yeah, five. I'm not even going to worry about um, anything else. We could put more urchins in, but uh, no, you know, we, need, we don't need it. I will take... Uh, I'll take the lanterns in case we do need the final bribe. We can't get that guy killed. Okay, next turn. Let's see what they do. They can't win because they've only got one victory point. They would have to take both these towers out and get this. I mean, I guess they could do it in one turn, but unlikely. Job's done. Uh, off to the pub. Okay, our guys are, are done. The That tower is back guarded by the cops so they can come and take it and try to get... They can still get the palace. Um, we just got the victory points. You still get the victory points if you unlock both these things still, so they can still do it. Unlikely. No, you go beating on my urchins. They're just a bunch of kids picking pockets at the trading house. I don't know what they did to you. You also notice, every time you level up your, your guy, they get a new weapon. This guy has a cleaver now. He started out with like a stick, and then he had a cane, and now he's got a cleaver. It's, it's kind of cool. Uh, they took my trading house. Not cool. Okay, now hopefully he goes where somewhere where I can get to him. Did he, did he just stay where he was? He did. And I can't get there. Right? Oh, maybe I can. Let's go. Okay, you do two damage. You do three damage. Uh, can I get any more damage here? I can do three damage per turn. Yeah, we got this. Hmm. You. Kill him. <clears throat> there you go. You. Stab, stab. Sure. There we go. Victory point. And we win. That's the game. Defeated Lightfinger. Excellent. Victory. Alright, so that is... Uh, what's the name of this game called? Uh, Anti-Heroes. <laughs> Sorry. Anti-Hero by Tim Cockley. It's published by Versus Evil. It just came out a couple days ago on Steam. And of course, I will put the link in the description. And you can check it out. Uh, but yeah, a fun little board game. tabletop -y sort of uh, crime game. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.